with fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Tuesday the 4th of April 2023. It's my Sudoku at bedtime game. Um, this is the Los Angeles Times expert level game. I'll get to it in a second. Um, don't you just love it when YouTube spits out something that something unexpected but gorgeous? Um, I... Uh, I don't use YouTube for music that much. I mean, sometimes I prefer to listen to music um, in kind of high quality stuff. But, you know, occasionally I watch music, of course. And um, I was not expecting uh, it to pump up uh, a Simon and Garfunkel concert from 1967 in from Granada TV. Now, if those of you who are not UK based won't probably won't know Granada TV, but it was uh, uh, one of the independent television stations uh, based in Manchester, or the north anyway, I think Manchester. Um, uh, anyway, certainly the north of England. Um, and uh, um, I, it was in black and white, of course, uh, and in a small studio, a TV studio audience of typical 1967 teenagers, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> And Simon and Garfunkel look so young, really amazingly young. But the talent, the just the incredible talent of both of them, really. The harmony is fantastic. Paul Simon's guitar playing, amazing. Uh, and so simple. That's it. There was nothing else. No other instrumentation, no effects, no abs just absolutely nothing. Just the purity of two great singers and a guitar singing superbly written songs. And... Uh, um, unfortunately for me, it, <laughs> it brings me out in tears and I, I get very emotional um, watching it. So I'm trying to recover right now because <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel has that effect on me whenever I listen to their music. But seeing them in that particular concert was uh, very moving, I thought. Um, what else is happening in the world? Uh, rather an, a good story. Well, a, a partially good story. We haven't quite made it all the way there, but... Um, in Malaysia, they have decided to stop mandatory executions for many types of crime. Uh, it would be better if they went all the way and stopped the death penalty altogether, of course. That should be the aim for all civilized countries, uh, to never again execute anybody, any human being. Um, but, um, you know, sometimes these things have to be done in stages because of the cultural norms or, you know, taking people along with you. I understand that. Um, let's hope they don't take too long about it. But anyway, good news that they have uh, stopped um, executing people, which is, of course, the lawful murder, the so-called, I'm going to do air quotes, lawful murder of a human being and something never to be done by any society, really should never be done by any society. So that's good news. Partial good news that they have um, stopped that particular practice. Um, we can only hope that other nations like the US and other places uh, finally come to their senses on uh, the death penalty. Right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. This is the LA Times expert level game, so let's jump to it now. Uh, two's block up and down and across here, so let's start with a two in that square, shall we? Uh, we've also got twos up here, I see twos across here and up here, so we'll get the two there. Well, we can continue with the twos as well. How about that? Two across there, we'll get another one there. Any more? Uh, no, I don't think so. But we do have ones across here and here and down there, so we'll get ourselves a one in that square. We've got a one up here and down here as well. One like so. Uh, one blocks up here, and so is in one of these two squares, blocking down here, and the one across here means one must be in that square. We've got ones across here like this. Oh, I hope I have clicked on the right level. I hope I haven't accidentally clicked on the easy level. I have done that before. Um, one's blocking up here, and one across here. So one there, one across here, and up here and across there. <coughs> one has become our first executed digit. No more ones.
uh, we've got three coming down here and down here so we'll get ourselves a three in that square We have nine down here and nine across here, so we get a nine there. And we have six down here, so we get six in that square there. Uh, and we can get this, can't we? What is missing from here? We're looking for twos, okay. So we can get the twos across here then. Um, come, I think we can do more on twos while we're at it. Two down here, two like that. Two there. Ah, one and two are finished. All right, missing from here, five, seven. So this is eight, I believe. Okay, we have sixes blocking across these two rows. You will know if I, I of course, always put the um, level of the game up ahead of time. If this turns out to accidentally, I've if they accidentally I've clicked on the wrong um, level game, uh, I will of course say that you will uh, you will know that <laughs> and be wondering what I'm talking about. Um, but I still believe I'm playing the hard level game until I until I learn otherwise. Four goes here, of course. So missing digits here are five, seven, seven, eight, 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 eight,
Uh, six. Oh, no. Six is already done. How about that? <laughs> Proof that I never practice or play these games ahead of time when I'm gonna about to make silly mistakes like that. Four blocking down here, down here, and across here puts a four into that square. Uh, no, that's going to leave fours like this, which is not solvable. Um... Um, okay, let's have another look and see. Um, ah, here we go. Three blocking down here and three across here. So we get a three in that square. So now three and four blocking across here means that this is a pair of three and four. And this has to be five or seven. That doesn't help me, but... At least I get an idea. So this is 3 and 4. And of course this is going to be 5 or 7. Because that's 5 or 7 there. So that's 5, 7, 2. When I say 2, I mean also. T double O, not T W O, of course. And if this is 3, 4, that's got to be 3, 4. But we know that already that's 3, 4. Uh, now, seven blocks this square. We don't have seven in this column yet, so seven is there. Then seven blocks across here, that puts a seven in that square. And the five will be what we need to go here. Five blocks across here, placing a five there. And the missing number here now is nine. Nine blocking all the way to the top, giving us a nine in that square. Nine blocking across here. Here's a nine. There's a seven. Seven across here. Here's the seven. The missing number here is an eight. Eight down, eight up, and eight across here. Here goes an eight. The missing number here, seven. Um... Seven is all we need for this row, is all I need to say, actually. Seven blocking down here and down here. Here's a seven. And the last number for this row looks to be a five. Uh, last number up here is nine. And so nine across here and across here gives us a nine there. Nine up here, nine across there. There's our nine. That's the final digit nine, of course. The missing number here is um, eight. Eight down here, eight across here. Here's our eight. There's only one more number to finish this uh, row here, which is five. And uh, we also have five blocking here and up here. So we get the final digit five there. This will have to be a three. Three blocks across here and gives us a three in that square. Blocking up here, here's a three. And uh, three down here, so that's our final digit three. And we are just left with digit four to fill in the, the dots. That's it. 
so if assuming that was the hard level game, um, a pretty easy hard level game. That's it. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.